Okay. Three okay. seasons ago, they yeah. made a beautiful ending. I wouldn't look at me and say that. Season, a beautiful I'm ending. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, ago. season like four that needed to end, and now we're on like, season <laughs> really? seven. Right. It's like I lo- I love Big Bang Theory. I wow. love. It was the, great. I love all the science references. Everything. I think that's great. It's a nerd and a show so and a geek much. show as well as an intelligence show. What? Well, okay. I watched it at the time. I spent an entire episode watching Penny steal Leonard's stuff and Amy yeah. lie about her apartment not being done. Like, I was like, okay. Exactly. You guys are grasping for plot lines. Not it's over. over. We're done. Right. So. It's like, after the couples all got together and it's got done. married, yeah. they should have just been it's only Yeah, that should have ended. It should have been right Drop there. The it's like, everybody right. wants Penny and Leonard to be together. Just let them be together. Season five just of Supernatural, we should have ended. Yes. So, Sam's no. in hell, we're done. No. That's so, as far as I've ever gone Supernatural. That's as far as you need to go. It's done. Okay, now, have you guys been keeping up with uh, Gotham on Fox. Yes. No! I haven't! And I'm really sad about it. So it was it really, like uh, Catwoman? Tiny Catwoman? Yes. Tiny, when I Tiny Catwoman! Woman. Well, because she's not, she's not a woman. She's a girl. Aww. But I really loved her, Selena Kyle, on yeah. the show. But and I only got through like the first scene. <laughs> and I really liked, um, I liked Riddler. I liked Riddler. When they had him, I really enjoyed him, and I liked how they did the whole police system. Yes. But I haven't caught up, because I've had so many other things to catch up on. I still haven't seen Flash. I like, like how... That's f- how far behind I am. Yeah, that's wow. why you suck. I like how Gotham... <laughs> wow! Wow! Ouch. Harsh Actually, words from Tom. <laughs> you, know how, you know how every once in a while, you'll be watching a show and they'll rake a reference, and you're like, well, hold on a second, let me Google this, I need to know something. <laughs> and of course, I Googled yes. Barbara Keene, and I realized... Oh God! Jim Gordon marries her. Actually, marries her. Did she not yeah, know that broad is crazy as hell. Oh, for the yeah. way they've written no, no, no. her in okay. this show. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> in the comic book, she was still pretty crazy. During, during the show, every time she does something stupid, and I, I go, I turn to whoever's in the room with me. He's like, "But he's supposed to marry, marry her." her. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm thinking she's probably amazing in bed or something. Honestly, <laughs> most, okay. crazy women most crazy women are, but still. Comic um, book wise, she's still crazy. Uh, like it doesn't get she doesn't get less crazy. How are they the going to books. get there? Is what I'm is what I'm actually asking you. That's that's, I, I, that's I, a I, long I, jump. They've got time. I yeah. mean, I, I personally don't think they're going to go there. I honestly, mean, with the timelines they have built for Gotham. Like, it's so the messed problem up is, that it doesn't matter. And, and Keith, you, as, a, as a filmmaker, how would you like to come back from your hiatus in life and, you, and your actor, who's supposed to be eight, <laughs> is now 16. <laughs> well, the way and 12 came, feet tall. Well, he can't look eight well, forever. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He came back so big, though. Yeah, it's, it's called a growth spurt. And it happens. <laughs> but I think, I think as we get... They were, were along yes, in the show. <laughs> you know they were, and they were like, "Why couldn't you have just not grown?" I think. I think ultimately, the producers were happy because it allows those particular fans that were getting mad during season two. It's like, when we don't get to Batman, when we when we really? get to this, when, yes, well, that's what I they were worried about. Yes. with the amount of greatness that they've given us, really. Okay, but I at the same think. time, at the same time, it's not a show about Batman. It's a that's show. Right. About the city. Yep. And he needs to grow with Actually, the Actually, everything about this show has been amazing. If he had stayed eight for three more seasons, I'd have been happy. Well, yeah. he needs was, to The grow. show was good. The, the thing about it is he needs to grow with the timeline, which means the other actors have to grow with him. And they're not really aging, because people don't so age as much. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how it focuses... Because every time we hear about Gotham City, Gotham City, we think of Batman and Robin and Alfred and right, all of right. that. And I like how it takes a different focus on Commissioner Gordon, but at the same time, I don't like all of the liberties. I really like, take a lot of them. All of like the villains um, are not from, you know, they didn't grow up there. They didn't. They all right. had specific incidences. There's a prime connection between the Joker and Bruce Wayne, not just the Batman. Yeah. You know, it's like I just like Fish Mooney, and they're kind of I love all her. She can wear shorter and shorter dresses every season. Yeah, but I, I, I like how she can wear short dresses and high heels and still kill a man. <laughs> like I feel like she's a great icon for that. Okay, those of you that are in a couple understand all women can do that. Okay, <laughs> the whole like two guys that are is all the guys three? scoots away away from their girlfriends. <laughs> what is it? Three guys in this that are in a couple. So, before we get stuck <laughs> on God, go ahead, go ahead, Keith. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Before we get stuck on God, because we can talk about this show for a while, I have a, I have, so a, I, I have a feeling that it is going to give us greatness in twenty seven. But like the cinematography, though. Yeah, good show. I, I, I think that show, along with Lucifer, that's where I was better, going to next. Better, Lucifer. And better. 
And again, that is the one show that I think a lot of fans don't immediately understand is actually connected to all of the DC universe. Mm. So Lucifer could easily, he would be great on Supergirl. No, no. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay, and that's, and that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna move back over to movies for a second. What? I don't know. <laughs> well, I was about to say. I was about to say something about Lucifer, though. Right? I feel like Go Lucifer ahead. is really amazing, but I feel like it also drew from Supernatural, in that they found out Lucifer because Lucifer has always been, um, like historically, has been a really great character. Right. People have always really identified with him because he is basically the embodiment of sin, and they're like, "Hey, we're imperfect too." Right. So they really pulled from that. But, and, like, I feel like that's a thing. But I really like it. But like, I, I enjoy it. You know what show didn't get covered a lot? And, uh, honestly, I didn't... I couldn't get into it, but it was Preacher. Yes. Right? Preacher was a great like show. It. Love it that was, show. Actually, um... It had a hugely love that slow show. build. Which and, uh, like into, into, into the Badlands. Long enough time. Yeah. And, and, and it's a yeah. Vertigo show. Into the Badlands. Show, it's yeah. Yeah. the like, DC oh, show. Exactly. You've got to watch, exactly. like... Six episodes before you can get, like, into it. Well, I mean, we have a three-episode rule, and... As yeah, that's assuming you get through the first episode yeah. of some shows like we do. <laughs> well, I mean, with that rule, I mean, look, uh, to me... Supernatural is, like, pretty far out with that rule. I don't all, follow any The whole fuck. first episode of Supernatural <laughs> is just, like, background. It's it, like, okay, their mother died, and all this shit happened, and also their dad is gone. That's not spoilers that's been happening since, like, 2001. If there's <laughs> one show that really has, I think, surprised a lot of people this, this past year, it would definitely be Westworld. Because that show was I basically... I haven't seen it! It was pronounced <laughs> dead by many people in the industry before the show ever premiered. Right. And the fact that it has taken off I don't like the it way that it has. I was going to say, that reminds me, that's one thing that has not been brought up yet. Because you said Westworld, which reminded me of Torchwood, which yes. Yes. reminded me that nobody yes. has talked about Doctor Who yet. No, no, no. Yes, we talk, no, we, we no, we talk about we're not on this episode. Yeah. We're headed there. We're yeah, headed we're headed there. Headed there. Like, we're, I was headed there. The Torchwood reboot, though. Because uh, I, 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 have, I have numerous questions ah. for my, my Who fans. We have we have several hooligans oh, here yes. present yes. this evening. Who be in? Who against? Who against? We have two people that are in the Springfield hooligans. Well, here, let me ask. With... The rumor of the replacing of Peter Capaldi. First of all, yeah. how do you feel about Peter Capaldi? First of all, and second of all, who would you like to see replace him? Okay, as the uh, I really liked him as the Doctor, not yes. as the Doctor himself. I feel like he as an actor could have done a lot better job than the writers let him do with the script, because I feel like the writers were really stuck on the Matt Smith, um, David Tennant. No, the. Oh my god, what is her name? The Matt Smith, Jenna Coleman dynamic that they had oh, going. Yeah. I feel like they were really stuck on that. And then they tried to push it onto Peter Capaldi, and he was like, How about we don't hit on a girl like a quarter of my age? But see, that's kind of creepy. But see, they did that with Chris Eccleston, and. They uh, did. You know. Uh, but I liked Peter Capaldi, and I really liked him as an actor. And he had some really good episodes! And it made me really sad when the writers really screwed him over. This is what I don't understand about the whole Peter Capaldi thing, because people were pissed off. Yeah. When, when they went from the youngest doctor ever to well, the oldest they have had in a long time. And I think that was a great choice. It was. It was a, was. Risk. It was a risk that they should have taken. Because people forget, I mean, we had Chris Eccleston and David Tennant and uh, Matt Smith, who were kind of all in that same right. age range. Didn't and we forget the doctor wasn't I was, that No, I was young. so bummed, though, because there's this huge headcanon. <laughs> huh? There's this, this huge Ice Cube like, no. for a doctor. <laughs> and you are on a roll. Keep Go. going. Keep there going. is this huge <laughs> overarching headcanon that the real curse of the Time Lords is that the older they get, the younger that they look, so right. that people won't listen to them. And I was so into that headcanon, and they were like, Peter Capaldi, and I was like, shh. But see, at the same time, if you go with the whole River Song storyline, right? I mean, you had Matt Smith marrying River Song. They were so <laughs> cute. No, not, River, not Matt Smith, but <laughs> Peter Capaldi and River Song. But yeah, that's were what so I'm saying. Cute. Is that there was this huge age gap, but then you get Peter Capaldi and River Song who match. They were adorable, and that kind of goes more into his actual timeline. So because right. he keeps jumping time throughout his entire lifespan, so now he's kind of meeting up with his actual. Life yeah. Space. See, and I'm of the opinion. I think Peter Capaldi would have made an excellent companion. Oh, he would have been. I am not companion. totally sold on him being the Doctor. Uh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hush, hush. He is. He's. He's 
a very angry doctor, which is but one so of the is things. Chris Eccleston. He was no. Well, I was still like Chris Eccleston. <laughs> he was. This is I why feel I like made this Eccleston show. is more like PTSD. Like he was <laughs> recovering from the time war. I like Chris Eccleston as an actor. I hated him as the doctor. And he's oh my no! doctor. I love him as the doctor. Oh, I feel like he really encapsulated. Um, like shut up. I feel like he really encapsulated. <laughs> Like how a person would be Ooh. after a large war. Bueno, I think because that... you've been waiting patiently. <laughs> <laughs> Although he is leaning closer and closer into this group, like <laughs> let me speak. We, we got away from the question of who we thought was going to should be. I was kept trying to answer, but I get interrupted by Alexis. I'm sorry. Uh, I love you. Uh, but I love you too. Go. Go. Are you Audi? Even... What about Ice Cube? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I, definitely I, 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 anybody. Crowd, anybody. Yeah. anybody. IT crowd, anybody? No. Yes, no. I've seen it. Okay, yes. that plays Moss. Yeah. yeah. Moss. Oh my God! Yes. That's me. He wins. I I was going to vote. There's been a lot of. A lot of people that have taken the poll, I think Rupert Grant would be great. Because No, no because he always talks about wanting to be a ginger. I want a and female doctor. I actually can't See, pronounce his name, and I'm going to go to Keith for this. I think the a guy female doctor would be the agent series finale. In Fire and Serenity? Oh! What you were tell Edgy before? Yes! yes. 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 That would he be would be like, amazing! He would be a No, no, no. And he would be our first black doctor. I want That's Haley. True. Honestly, and black people can be doctors, damn it. <laughs> before they end the series, they have to have a ginger, they have to have a black man, and they have to have a female. Honestly, I want Haley Atwell as the doctor. Haley Atwell or. I want um, Haley Atwell as my doctor. Right? <laughs> Same. I'm gonna go no, okay. Right. For opinion, I think that we should have Nick's commander. Yes. <laughs> he's so, like. He would be a cute uh, doctor. Yes, he's let's, so cute. Let's move on. <laughs> we got stuck. Oh, right. Wow! I feel like wow. Haley. It's a good question. It's good. Not everybody was allowed to right. answer, but that's cool. I feel like Haley Atwell would be an amazing doctor. Okay. Haley Atwell is a good Patrick answer. Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, that is fair. The Star Trek reboot. Woo! Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a problem there. Yeah. Uh, I, I I I would like to offer myself as showrunner if there's. <laughs> <laughs> I, would like, uh, I would like to offer Keith the showrunner too because he can't do worse than what we've been, what, what they've been trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he'd, he'd be great choice. Thank you. Thank you please. <laughs> but um, no, it's this is a show that one would think that uh, at this point. That when you're still trying to hire actors and trying to get win fans over, that when you lose your showrunner. But do you really have to win over Star Trek fans? I mean, I feel like we're pretty. Yes, yes, yes you do. They are well, some it's of like the two or three episodes. We're like, okay, like Deep Space Nine. We were all like, Star Trek I mean, fans we're still are really as bad stuck. as Doctor Who fans. I am, a, I am a Whovian. I'm a diehard Whovian and a diehard Trekkie. That's and the only I, that you on the show. I hate Deep Space Nine. <laughs> what? what? I hate it. No! Really? Yep. Okay. That is me because I don't like Deep Space Nine either. No, yeah. it introduced the trills. Wow, okay. I find the trills such an interesting species, alien-wise. The trills. Oh, my God. The trill are such an interesting species. T-R-I-L-L. I'm yeah. a purist, though. I'm sorry, but no. I like the original series. But what about the Trouble with Tribbles crossover? Hey, why don't you have another glass Trouble with Tribbles is my favorite. (laughs) No, but what about the DS9 one? When are we going to talk about the second season of Firefly? You haven't seen it? I don't know. There is no second season and we're all bitter about it. Actually, it was condensed into one movie called Serenity. Oh, okay. (laughs) There are a lot of people who are hard. So, real quick, um, been amazing. With working with Fanatics and Fanatics has been an amazing uh, 2016 for me. Yay! Got to be a part of a musical, a musical production. <laughs> it was a, be, I'm sorry, it was a play with music. music. A play with music. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't get that memo. Okay, we were I didn't check my email. That. I didn't we check my email that day. <laughs> it was a musical. <laughs> it wasn't a musical because the music didn't further the two web series, a movie. Uh, I got to meet Hercules. Superman's, I got to meet Hercules. Superman's dad. Yeah, met him too. Uh, 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 you got to meet Tom Bo- Petty. Bo- Bo- I was. I got to meet. We <laughs> right? got to meet Tom Petty. We love to meet Tom Petty and work with him. And hey, <laughs> hey let's do how are we this web series? We got to do Bo and Luke. That's where uh, that, yeah, we got to meet Bo and Luke Duke. Um, they were they were fun. Several several walkers. Yay! Several walkers. Oh, 
a large amount of walkers. We did a large actually. amount of walkers. Um, really Wasn't uh, it this year that we met?